Let me touch on Iran real quick. Sanctions on Iran are a key component of the U.S. strategy to increase the pressure on the Iranian, uh, Iranian regime to abandon its ambitions for nuclear weapons uh, and its support for terrorism and cease other illicit activities. Now, with nuclear negotiations not currently in the agenda and Iran's nuclear program continuing to expand, increasing the economic pressure on Iran is essential. G given uh, nuclear negotiations are seem to be at a standstill, is it fair to say that the administration uh, views maximum enforcement of sanctions as a key component of our Iran strategy? The Treasury Department has leveled extremely tough the toughest possible sanctions on Iran and is enforcing those sanctions um, and constantly trying to identify ways in which they may be violated and taking further enforcement actions. So Iran is subject to exceptionally tough sanctions and we look to strengthen them and continue to take actions to do so. Uh, do, now on that, with, with all due respect on that, do you, do you really think that Iran um, does feel the type of economic pressure that would be necessary to force the regime to change their policies? Uh, I, I don't get that sense, to be very honest with you, that they feel that pressure at the level that, that it would actually change their behavior significantly. What, what, so, so what do you think, um, or some examples that that is happening in your opinion, and if we could be doing better, uh, what, are, what are ways that we could increase the enforcement of our sanctions? So my sense is that our sanctions on Iran have created a real economic crisis in the country, and Iran is greatly suffering economically because of the sanctions. I would say the same thing is true of North Korea. On the other hand, if you ask, has that um, forced a change in behavior, um, the answer is much less than we would ideally like. So, okay, so let's close with that. What, what do you think would be the way to uh, increase that, um, the enforcement on that or, or be more forceful to get the, the result that we would want? You know, we're constantly looking for ways to broaden the sanctions to um, enable them to better accomplish our objectives. But sometimes a regime is so committed to a program that even when the population of that country is suffering immensely because of sanctions we've imposed, they uh, continue to prioritize activities that um, are ones that we're trying to stop. And so my sense is that we need a broader toolkit and do have a broader toolkit uh, to use, you know, sanctions can play a role in changing behavior, but they may not be sufficient. In I, I agree with you on that, and, and I and I think it's troublesome that that that's a reality that we're that we're seeing here. So I, I do encourage Treasury to continue to look for the the broader opportunities as you mentioned, and and uh, be be forceful on those approaches. Thank you, Stanley. Closing word. I think all of us uh, uh, believe that we want to see America grow, be successful, and be preeminent. Uh, the bipolar world or the multipolar world uh, is, is a reality. We used to have the Soviets and ourselves, uh, and that was a bipolar world. It's now obvious that uh, a number of nations uh, have uh, increased their economic uh, opportunity, abilities, particularly China. Uh, so the issue is, uh, in my opinion, Mr. Chairman, whether we're going to continue to invest in America, in basic research, in manufacturing. I've had a Make It in America agenda for 13 years. This is all about making it in America, not only in terms of making it physically, but making it uh, in success terms. So I'm hopeful, Mr. Chairman, that we can work together, as I said at the beginning, uh, to achieve the objective that I think we all share 
uh, that uh, America continues to be the greatest and best nation on earth uh, and uh, plays a significant role in keeping a world, uh, if not at peace, at least at bay. Yeah, uh, well stated. And uh, I think that would get universal agreement around the table. To our witnesses, we promised we'd get you out of here in two and a half hours and in one piece. And we've met the objective. Um, so thank you, Madam Secretary. Director Young, thank you for your testimony here this morning. Uh, well received. To my colleagues, thank you. If you have questions for the record, uh, you have seven days uh, to get those to the relevant subcommittee staff uh, so that we can